Emery Lehman skating on the inner lane is the best distance skater in the entire country right now. He's only 21 years old. He raced the Olympic trials in 2014. At 18 years old, he was the youngest American. He won the 10K, which put him on that Olympic team. Right now, no spots for the U.S. qualified for the Pyeongchang Olympics in either this distance, the 5,000, or the 10,000 meter race. So racing to be U.S. champion. And again, it's 12 and a half laps in the 5,000 meters. Jeffrey Swider Peltz. Junior, 28 years old. We saw his sister Nancy in the 3,000 meter race earlier today. And a son of the Olympic medalist Nancy Swider Peltz, who coaches him. Jeffrey was, was coached by his mom for a lot of years. He, he took uh, some time this year, went out and did some of the national team training camps, trained with some of the other guys. He trained with Emery Lehman a little bit. He trained with uh, some of the, the national team guys like Joey Mantia, who are out in Salt Lake City. And, and he thought he needed to, to make sure he got a more well-rounded training experience, didn't just stay at home here in Milwaukee and, and only hear one, one sort of inputs. So the style we will see from Lehman uh, in the red armband on the outer lane crossing over here, he's stronger the longer the race goes. I mentioned he won the 10K four years ago. He's also the America's the American's best uh, skater in the 5K. And again, like the 3K, 21 years old, that's really young to be skating this race. We see a lot of the big Dutch names, they don't become, they don't reach their peak in the 5,000 until 28, 29, even 30 years old. So the U.S. has a lot of hope, despite the fact that it's not a great sign they don't have slots in this Olympic Games. The U.S. feels very strongly that this young man is a strong talent and another skater, Ethan Sepron, coming up is a very strong talent, they think, who will be assuming the role of American distance skater. Lehman 30.7 on that last lap. And uh, the former hockey player picked up speed skating when he was about nine years old. His mom just saw a flyer for the sport in Chicago and uh, sent him to the rink for skating instead of hockey. This time four years ago, he was in high school studying for his finals. Well, the other skaters were solely focused on the Olympic trials. He was the youngest American man to compete at the Olympics in Sochi. Pretty Studies engineering, civil engineering at Marquette. Very smart guy. Pretty cool feeling. You know, you, you got, well, sorry, I can't make prom this year. I got to go to the Olympics. You see those splits in the bottom left of your screen there? Lehman, that plus one means he's actually one second behind the time set by Ian Quinn. I don't think many people would have thought at this point in the race, Ian Quinn would still be uh, on the radar. But he skated a fantastic race, a whole set of 31 second laps. Boom, 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 one after another after another. He really, it was like a metronome watching him skate. It was a very strong race. And now we get to see as we move to the second half, the last six, if Lehman will come on like he usually does. See that split, 0.21. It means he just took eight tenths of a second off of the lead by Quinn in one lap. That's a good sign for Lehman, not a great sign for Quinn for the overall title. It's a good chunk to take off in one lap. It's very nice watching Emery Lehman skate. We're getting ready to see the camera flip over to this corner here. It's just this smooth, smooth strokes. It's every step just comes right under him. It doesn't look like he's working too hard. It looks like he's accelerating through the corner, but it doesn't look like he's really having to search. He's not swinging his arm extra hard. He's not gritting his teeth. He's just relaxed. His back is round. It means there's no tension in his back. You just you let your upper body just hang there. You build through each corner, and then when you hit this straight away, you just try and relax a little. Let your legs shake out. Get ready for the next corner. Does that smoothness equate to conserving energy? Absolutely. The, the harder you look like you work in speed skating, usually the worse it's going for you. So the skaters who might, sometimes you see skaters look really incredible, looks powerful, looks like they've got these big, huge strokes, but they're not moving that fast. That's because they're too tense. They're fighting too much their own body. Lehman, you never see that. It's just tick, tick, tick. It's like, it's like a metronome on a piano. He's just keeping time. He marches through the corner, hits a straightaway, throws those arms on his back and relaxes. 30.57, these laps are very fast. 
my prediction going into this, I think this is going to be the time for all of the other men to try and beat. We've got one more pair after this, but he's skating very, very fast so far. I think he's very likely going to take home the, the U.S. title. Obviously, it stings a little bit with, with how the placements work. Tom Cushman, the all-around coach, we chatted just before this race. He said, I know we're in the third reserve spot. It means three skaters are going to have to drop out of the Olympics. I'm telling every one of these skaters, go out there and skate like an Olympic spot is on the line because it has happened before. We don't think it's likely, but it has happened. And so that's what's in the mind of some of these skaters who have skated out here uh, under Tom Cushman, are thinking. Leaving less than two laps remaining. Again, trying to catch Ian Quinn. 632.957 is the time to beat. Last lap here. This is where we expect to see Emery Lehman better than anyone else in the entire country. He's, he, he looks fantastic. There's not a, an ounce of, of pain you're seeing on his face there. He just keeps on driving. You look at his cheeks, they're just hanging there. He's just inhaling, exhaling. He's gonna have a very strong time. Skating to be the men's 5,000 meter U.S. champion. And crossing the line, he is the new leader. 628.06. Wow, 628, strong race. Strong finish, he looked relaxed and easy the entire time. To be honest with you, Tom, I still think that that race by Ian Quinn uh, was a pretty spectacular one. It's not gonna earn him the national title, but it, it's good enough that for all of the coaches, they're gonna look at him and say, we need to make sure we're investing resources into Ian Quinn. You see this last straightaway, the whole way, last stroke of the race, 5,000 meters, 3.1 miles. It looks just as good as he did in the first corner, in the first stroke. Pretty impressive the way he was able to hold his form throughout that 12 and a half lap race. So, Emery Lehman, just 21 years old, is the new leader in the 5,000.